Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Irish Spaghetti Podcast. We're your hosts, Billy G, my life partner as usual, Nikki P. How are you? Pretty good, man. Very well, very Pretty well, good. man. Ladies and gentlemen, episode three. Episode three, we made it. I'm filling up this whole hand. This We're is wonderful. Momentum. Yeah, We're dude. Momentum. I can do this now. <laughs> this is wonderful. A uh, happy new year. I hope everybody had a fun, safe time. I hope you didn't die in a horrific car accident like so many do on New Year's. If you did, you're not hearing this. Exactly. So don't get all worked up. <laughs> I, hope, I hope you didn't die in a <laughs> exactly. horrific car accident. Yeah, I hope you weren't ejected the, the from your fucking... Like, Thanks for that. Yeah, yeah. You're, I hope you weren't ejected from your Ford Explorer for not wearing your seatbelt, you fucking psycho. You know what I mean? Uh, Nick... Uh, New year. New year, new you. New us, yeah. New year, new you. I don't know um, if you have any resolutions out there, but what are ours? Did we ever come up with any? Um, You know what? I think so. I say, here's my resolution, right? Let's it's it. not to eat better. I'm a slob. It's not to drink fucking better. I'm a slob. You know what my New Year's resolution is? Isn't that fucking depressing? Actually, you know? <laughs> I want to eat worse and drink more. Exactly. That's, that's exactly. My, resolution. my resolution is to double yeah. down on all of my terrible I, habits. I want fucking diabetes by April, and I want my foot done by fucking October. Now that's brave. <laughs> that's yeah. the true bravery. Yeah, I'm an American, yeah. <laughs> Gambling with my life on my resolution. I, I'm not I trying can, to save it. I can tell you this right now. Here's uh, Billy G's resolution right now. By January 1st, 2024, I want this show to be everywhere. Everywhere. You know what? I will piggyback that resolution. That's our goal, ladies hey, and gentlemen. Yes. It's in a birthday card. Is that a resolution, though? <laughs> yes. I guess it is. Like, you resolved yourself well, to accomplish success. That. Yeah. That makes sense. Hey, I can tell you what, man. I heard... I heard, and, and, and dude, listen, I, I know everybody has the fucking, you know, where they came from story and how hard it was. I can tell you this, though. When we said we were making this show, mm -hmm. I know I heard the doubt in everyone's voice. 100%. I couldn't even get to work on time. These people thought, you know, oh, you're making a, a successful <laughs> podcast? Like, yeah, sure, well, right away. The entertainment industry is for people like us who are kind of like half fuck ups, Made wild. For this. Yeah, you know what I Made mean? Like, for this. that's where you go. Yeah. That's where you use in entertainment. Those of us that can't hold down a nine to five, there isn't not a place. Yeah. You, either, you end up in some form of entertainment. You end up a comedian. Or an actor. That's where crazy people go to yeah. make a living, man. I'm fucking right, dude. Yeah. I, I'm right at home here. You know what's so funny? It's like, why I was so bad at my job, people would tell me I talk too much. I don't think I could do you that. You weren't here. bad at your job. Yeah. You were inconsistent with the quality that you bring, yeah. but you were not bad at your well, job. Well, not only that, I wanted to talk to you. Yeah. You know what though? Uh, this is a dream. It. We made money off of oh, that. People yeah. love listening to us bullshit. Dude, I, I remember I remember <laughs> coworkers, coworkers in management. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this right now. Coworkers in management could not fucking grasp why I didn't get in more trouble. No. And it's truth is the truth is is because no matter what the quality was food, no matter how long I took getting over there, I got them to like me. Mm -hmm. Which means that because people you could have a good meal and shitty service and walk out of there pissed off. A hundred percent. But you, but if you have an okay meal and walk out of a fantastic service and you feel welcome, you had a good time, and the experience that drew them mm -hmm. in there in the first place, because motherfuckers ain't coming out to spend thirty dollars on whatever they're eating to have you act like a fucking bitch for right. twenty minutes. No personality, you know? yeah. just dry. None, I, dude, and especially our sexes. And yeah. we knew th there's a reason why we were known. Why we well, knew that we were destined for this. Yeah, you got dinner and a show. If you're spending forty dollars for a fucking hamburger, yeah, I might as well do a little tap dance for you while you're at it. Okay, they, nice. If you're entertained, you're in a good mood, you feel good, and you carry that feeling with you on the way out. And that's actually what you're selling is the feeling. Obviously, you need the product to be good as well. And this is actually like a little low key sales class. What you're doing is you're putting people in a good mood, in a good state, and that puts them in a state of generosity. That's what makes them want to give. So by being like agreeable and, you know, interesting and friendly and kind or hilarious, whatever your shtick is, you actually increase your chances of making a bigger tip or someone buying whatever product you're trying to sell because they're buying you as much as they're buying the thing. Sure. I think a lot of people know this, but like a lot of people don't at the same time. Dude, it's like common sense, but dude, no one actually uses it. Dude, especially in a tourist trap. I'm going to tell you this right now. If you go on vacation, you're, you're on vacation, right? You could find at home good restaurants and good food and shit like mm -hmm. that. It only matters so much. You can find good shows at home or in your home city or state, wherever the fuck you're at. 
you could find all that where you live. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to fly across the world or to across the country or, or drive across the country, which is even fucking worse, and if you're going to do this, mm -hmm. the, the, the least that you want is to feel good good at places yeah. to feel like you're wanted to feel like you're having a good time and like if you're gonna spend your hard-earned money it's not like yes. we, don't, we don't all have like crazy disposable income like it used to be so when you go out you're gonna go where you know you're guaranteed to have the best time or to get what you want more or less instead of risking spending your money somewhere else where you're not sure about that because you're not gonna have five more chances to go out this week like ah you know it was a bad night but whatever i'll go out tomorrow a lot of us have responsibilities and we don't have that kind of money so you got to be a sniper with this shit like i know me personally when I go drink, I go right to the bars where I know the bartender is my friend and I have a good time with that bartender. It's like there could be a castle, like a beautiful mansion of a bar right across the street that looks better in every capacity. But if I don't like that bartender, fuck that whole place. I'll go to PT's, some little grimy shithole dive bar where the bartender is my friend. Yeah. Every, 10 out of 10 times. And that means so much. The guy I buy Coke from, mm -hmm. every, what's the biggest feeling you go when you go to buy drugs? You get that shit feeling, right? My coke dealer, <laughs> when I get to his door, I knock on the door. I go, Rico, can I, can I? And he goes, bro, come on in. He comes in, he hands me a, a ball of Charmin, fucking nice roll of it. I walk in the bathroom, I take my shit, then I buy my drugs and I'm out. And I can tell you this, I leave empty and ready to rock. Empty <laughs> on shit, empty and, and ready to fill up on partying and having a good time. That means that something. That's service. That's like the Hershey's kiss on top of the pillow when you go to a hotel. Yep. When you come back to your room and they have like a swan folded towel yep. and there's a little Andy's mint or whatever on the pillow. Just a nice touch. I, I walk out. I'm on, on my way out. I go, bye, Rita. And I trip over the girl that's passed out on the yeah. ground completely naked. Nice, and clean I go, asshole exactly. from the Yeah. You're and fresh, and not to mention little the little baby powder. Yeah. I go, hey, sweet. I got to go. Bye. <laughs> Bye, thank you, hon. Have a wonderful. Okay, bye. Have a beautiful time. <laughs> you put that accent. <laughs> hey, hey, have a beautiful time. No, you oh, know, but just fuck. You know, I'll, I'll joke aside. It, it means something to just have a little yeah. to have to be respected, dude. The lack of respect today is is abysmal. Yeah, just downright overwhelming. Yeah. I, I get it. The the, the days of. The customer always right. That shit is dead. Sure. But what was born from that is the employee's always a prick. And yes. that's not okay either. And there's no one to complain to. Like, Dude. it just falls on deaf ears. Dude. There's no service yeah. anymore. Yeah. It's like, you go shopping, um, you literally have to check yourself out. They're actually doing that at gas stations now. There's no service. No one helps you anymore. No one's there to assist you in any way. You spend more money than you've ever spent before with less service. Like, our grandparents' generation... It was normal to have like a full service gas station. You didn't even pump your own gas. They checked your oil. They replaced the windshield yeah, wiper fluid. Yeah, yeah, and they still have that out there back east a little bit here and there, but it's not as, as common as it was. But how great was that, man? You throw them a ten dollar bill. You walk out. You didn't even have to get out of your car. It's freezing cold outside. Service. Yeah. Service, baby. That bell rings. Oh. The fucking sixteen year old kid that's already fought in two wars mm -hmm. comes out wiping grease off his hands. You go, 30 cents on petrol, please. <laughs> Fill it to the top. Ding. Throws Man. the fucking coin up. Man. The kid catches it. He's like, right away, Mr. Dunn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> fucking puts the humongous fucking gasoline pump in the fucking car. You know, that thing's about to explode as it is. In the is. background, it's like, shoo-be-doo. Yeah, every, walla, walla, as he's, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's on roller doo -doo. skates. Ba, ba. <laughs> Everyone's on roller skates for no reason. <laughs> Susie Q, how are you, little sweetheart? Susie How's Q. How's your father? You know what I mean? Everybody's having a great time. You know what I mean? <laughs> fucking the atom bomb just went off and here I see him and we're all high-fiving in the U.S. Hugging. Hey, man, do you know that you told me about before all right nick knew first and i like this because you know a lot of crazy shit you know and you read on things you knew about oppenheimer robert j robert Oppenheimer. yes sir yes, and you sir. know what there's a movie coming about uh, next I year i can't wait to see that he's one of the most brilliant people that yep. ever lived despite the fact that he was responsible for hundreds so of millions much of deaths death. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> like like here here dig this britney grinder we traded the, Russia's merchant of death. He well, he was a Nazi, regardless. But you know, yeah. yeah, but he should have been ours, right? Like, 100 percent. He was right. Ninety percent of the technology we have is from Nazi scientists. Yeah. I don't think people realize that. I think the microwave is Nazi technology. Yeah. The rocket, us hitting the moon. 
we literally stole Nazi scientists and made them come work for us or they volunteered, whatever. Um, fashion, Hugo Boss was yeah. a Nazi. He designed the Nazi uniforms, literally. Well, Everyone knows that, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's his communist. Get real. They were the best looking army ever. Oh, they, Dude, were, they were on fleet. All right. I, I, I get it. I get it. Objective aside, you know, no, 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 you know, you can't say anything. We're not about, talking yeah. about their morals. Dude, we're you talking can't about say their any, You can't give any compliments yeah. without people fucking gunning you down, okay? All right. I assure you fucking what they did was fucking awful. But I can tell you this, man. That fucking uniform was cool. Yeah. Nobody's looked that cool. Our, now, granted, I mean, you know, fashion obviously doesn't win wars because... We look like shit. We came over in that olive drab, those stupid helmets, all fucking dirty with the stupid dog tags. Mucus. Zero tone. pride in whatsoever in what we were doing. You know, the Nazis, you know, the Nazis, their fucking boots were so polished, dude. They're coming all the way up in that, that armband. Uh, everybody, you know, they're getting yeah. it. Can't say it. Once again, it's not saying anything nice. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Tasteful. You know who? You know who was who? And the generals going up that led up to it is fucking cool. Listen, I'm not saying that what Hitler did was right. What I'm saying is that he had his mustache was neat. He looked cool he doing it. He had a tidy it. stash. He looked he had cool a tidy doing stash. it. Stash. I mean, you can't you can't rock a Hitler. He anymore. ruined it for everybody except for Charlie Chaplin. Yeah. I mean, yeah. how did Charlie? Was Charlie Chaplin was he after Hitler? Or was he uh was he before? No, he was after. Or did they overlap? So Hitler, so the war was ended in 46. Chaplin was after? I mean, he was doing silent films, so maybe around the same time. Nobody mentioned the Hitler mustache. So after Hitler, no, he was like, I think that was. I think that was just very popular in yeah. Germany. Because he was doing silent films, and we had plenty of real films after in the 50s. So, no, no, no. Yeah, it, it was probably it was probably before around the same time. But I bet you anything. I, I, I'm guessing that was just like the height of fashion. And, you know, hello, hi, how you I doing? I don't know, man. You know? I think that it only got popular because... I, think I don't know why I sounded like it. Cuban while I was doing the... You know what I mean? You think he went to his bar? Avino se, hello. Yeah, okay, that's a little bit better, but yeah. Avino se, that Avino like say. Swedish. Dude, I mean, the Hitler... I got the Hitler fucking comb over. Well, that you know, shit's back. It's cool. You know how you go to your barber and you're like, I want to look like that guy, and you have the picture? Do you yeah. think Chaplin did that? Yeah. Make me look like him. I saw... <laughs> he also, I saw him after the Olympic Games. He looked very nice. <laughs> Give me him. He was dapper. Man. Dancing around his stupid cane. <laughs> oh, ooh. Those movies, man. Imagine having nothing else that, like, you looked at some asshole with little words that, like, slid across the screen. It's like, you know, our hero rides out now. And you're just like, fuck, he's fucking doing it. Everyone's all excited. And, dude, and fucking 90 people sitting in the fucking auditorium watching that shit film. And you know what's weird, dude, is like, it's like that that's how fucking that's how uh, spoiled we are now. I cruise through you dig this, right? To watch a movie, I go through Prime, mm -hmm. Netflix, so Hulu, so Hulu. What, Freebie, whatever the fuck else, till I finally go back and I watch something from the nineties. And it's like fuck am I that's doing? What it ends up being. Yeah, it just some old movie. Some I, old I movie go, I've seen I a million go through times. Six applications and then twenty yep. minutes later I'm dusting off my DVD collection. Yep. To watch a movie you've seen a million times. <laughs> That's how bad it's going. It's going to be Goodfellas. Yeah. Nine out of ten times it's Goodfellas. The other time it's Departed. Like I it's... could I could watch gangster movies every night and oh, yeah. and never get tired of them. Is there nothing more fascinating than, than mob movies and gangster movies? They're the most yeah. charismatic, interesting people. It has it all. People love bad guys. Yeah. You know what you I mean? Know, people love charming bad guys. Yeah. Like a, a bad guy that you can get behind. There, there's something enticing about a motherfucker that is willing to kill everybody in the room. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's got to be organized. You know, not everybody's going to watch a Van Damme movie or fucking, you know, uh, uh, and the bad guy's like, you know, that fucking, I don't know, ooze or something that kills. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know stupid, right? But that was the movies. You know, he has some ooze that's like killing people and stuff like that. People can't watch that. But when you watch something about Guys owning a casino and and they fuck people up and they well, and they're real like smart. Busting balls with their friends and they're laughing and joking and they're having a good time. And yeah. it humanizes. And it's them. relatable. Yeah, it's yeah. not like you're just the yeah. evil bad guy who comes in and like punches babies in the face. And yeah, like, that's your whole. Yeah, that's your, your you whole know, persona. You, you're the man in the trench coat. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. The, the best bad guys are the ones that are like super refined and polished and like well spoken. Yep. and you almost are you almost agree with them. Like yeah. their philosophy is not that far removed from what you could believe. But the way that they handle it is not exactly. <laughs> well, I think I think why those guys were so intriguing is because like everybody had the guy in the neighborhood that nobody fucked with, right? Mm -hmm. Oh you know yeah. I mean? And I'm sorry, it's like 
as men, I assure you, we look up to that guy. Women want to be with that guy. There's something very special about a guy that you know you just don't fuck with. Well, when they took it to the next level, it's like, you know, it's like, you could cross this guy every day on the street. Mm-hmm. As you know, New York was so huge at the time, and that ga- that gangster culture. It looked so cool. They would dress the best, and the bad guys they, they were. were separate from everything. When you could cross this guy on the street, and you know that's the guy that will cut you up if you fuck with him, you owe him money, or you cross him in some fucking mm-hmm. way. That's cool. So then, what do you do? It's like that people, that group of people know him, and you know they immortalize these guys. And then what do they do next? Right. They put it on the silver screen. Yes. And now. Now they're all immortalized. Well, to your point, think think about this. Like even actual mob bosses and you know enforcers and hitmen and all that, they have podcasts now, and those podcasts get millions of views. They yeah. have more subscribers than regular people. These people that are they're known, they're convicted. Like oh, yeah. Michael Franzese, I think his name is. Yep. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. There, there's a couple of other ones out there. Well, and Sammy the Rat Gravano. Sammy the Rat. Yes, he's a yes. rat. Everybody knows he is, but. You want to hear those stories? And dude, we don't give a fuck yes. about what they did. We tune in every, yes. every episode that comes out. You we're love tuning it. right in. We're right there. We don't even judge him, man. We're like, no. oh, he's actually I, kind of a likable guy. <laughs> before Henry Hill died, who's the uh, Goodfellas is based on him, yeah. wonderful portrayal by, uh, what's his name? Uh, Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta all oh, day. God. R.I.P. Ray. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Ray. What a, for all what a great man work crush, did, man. dude! To, to, if, they, if they said they were gonna do a good film, to like back to back, I would have jerked him off every day for it just set, just so he's <laughs> willing to be on board with it. But I can tell you this: <laughs> well, I guess this gets into my next one. But Henry Hill, who that was based off of, before he died, they caught him banging guys in a parking lot, some bar in fucking West Virginia, some shit or whatever. Are you you know what I mean? Yes, Henry Hill. Henry Hill. Yes. He was getting his cheeks blasted out at truck by, stops? At truck stops by fucking dudes. That, no, no. Don't tell me this, man. Dude, no, I'm sorry. Not I got to ruin it. But I can tell you this, don't right? Don't do it. Dude, I got it. But let me dig this, right? They pull him off of some... They pull that tulip tugger off of some fucking <laughs> big trucker Andy fucking sticks, and they get him out of the fucking truck stop bathroom. They wipe shit off of his face, and they sit him down in a chair, and they tell him, tell some stories. I guarantee you I'm tuning in. I want to listen. Uh, he would draw it. a crowd. Oh, easy. Like that. Yeah, 100%. That, uh, you want to hear it. You, you, you want to hear it. Dude, those guys were so cool. And they live life like how... They live life how you close your eyes and you think you want to live life. 100%. Like just running over people and nobody gets you. Everybody's scared of you. All day play. Fucking getting money for, well, for just taking it. What you want is cool. Let's be honest, though. For all of the dirty work that underpins the entire society, they were classy. Yeah. It was glamorous. I mean, like we said before in episode one, we're based here in Las Vegas. I don't think there's a single person on earth who's been here for any length of time that understands that this town was way cleaner, way more glamorous, ran better. There was just class oozing from every pore of Las Vegas when the mafia owned it. Yes. I remember like uh, in my dad's generation, actually, I think it was like after like six o'clock at night or eight o'clock at night, everyone came out in suits and evening gowns. There was no kids allowed in the casinos on the strip. I mean, it was like a to-do, a whole event. You didn't just come out like they do now in fucking cargo pants. And uh, dude, I swear to God, I was just about to say, I was bums. about to say, cargo these shorts bums. and fucking Ugh. Crocs. And, and, you know, cargo you shorts don't deserve Crocs. to walk into one of these properties. Like, look at the win Las Vegas. You come in here with shorts on and flip-flops, you dirtbag. Underneath a, a $2 million chandelier, you're literally walking on red carpet. Yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable. But they you're, don't deserve it, man. You're, you're no. booger-picking kids that keep crying, <laughs> and you're bitch wife yeah. that all she wants to do is spend money at the forum shops and doesn't even buy fancy things. She can't afford even a pack of gum exactly. in the forum shops. Exactly. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that stupid white stripe of fucking sunblock on their nose. Dude. Ugh, get the, out of here. Dude, dude, Beat yeah. it. We don't need you. Yeah. There used to be designer <laughs> dresses and fedoras yeah. with overcoats and you couldn't <laughs> step through the fucking door with that. Yes. You park your Cadillac, you <sighs> give your fucking valet driver $10 and you say park it over there and meanwhile I sit with the rest of the Cadillacs. It was so uh, yeah. I, oh, okay. It was so fancy and it was so appreciated and now it's shit. Yeah. It's now the shit. people that I see walking down the strip and patron or they literally are patronizing. Yes. They're not just patrons but they belong in fucking Chuck E. Cheese. Yes. Get out of here. Well that's what it Ugh. is now. It's a giant Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, it's it is. Vegas. This isn't actually Disneyland. I hate that they made this all like family oriented well, and all this. Y- you know who ruined it was the nineties. Yeah. Once you started putting up the ex corporations ruined dude, it. Dude, all right. Remember this? Do you remember the boardwalk? No, wait, no. The clown, the boardwalk. It was supposed to be like the it was supposed to be like the Jersey boardwalk, 
It's supposed to be like Coney Island. It was a Coney Island based casino. No. I mean, all that went there was just suckers, whores, and deadbeats. I'm surprised I don't remember. I was there every night. It sounds like a great place. <laughs> like, I was yeah, exactly. exactly 100%. Well, dude, dude, I'm saying I was never wearing the fedora of treating this place like it was supposed to be. You know? But I'm saying that's where it started. Shitty themed casinos started popping up left and right. Yeah. Really cheap fucking drinks. They turned draws. into a half an amusement park. Yes. It's a shame. But the mafia never let that happen. No. So, like, corporations came in and bought up everything, obviously. And then the mob still exists. They just kind of went, like, legit, if you will. So they're just, like, in the system now. Well, but it's not the same. But what they said was, like, okay, like, we're missing, uh, you know, like, the, the middle class family's dollars and this revenue and that revenue and these dollars and those dollars. So now it's, like, this weird blended amalgam, like, Frankenstein monster of different parts yeah. that has, like, no real concept or focus or sense. And, the, like, again, I, just, I love this town when it was classic true Las Vegas. Go watch an old Las Vegas movie, and you could you could feel it even in, on screen. You could feel like just the, the the prestige. It's just a different thing now, man. Dude, and and who shut it's those? Insane. And you know what? Honestly, all they were doing was living the American. Who shut those guys down? And 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 and, and know how smug I sound. Ah, oh, know how <laughs> smug I sound when I say this. But it's like we we were high fiving the government for getting rid of the mafia. Meanwhile, they're the ten times worse. Yeah, they're ten they're times worse. In and, they, and this it's is and, and this isn't some profound thought or anything no. like that. It just needs to be said. They're fucking awful. You, you, I don't root for any of those institutions. I will I'll back police because I know what they got to do. Mm -hmm. I I could I could see a fucking blue collar guy policeman dealing with the biggest assholes on the planet every day. But when when the FBI all they're bringing in is the, the biggest bullshit and taking down guys like fucking not brain made not made about him, but if your biggest bust for the year was like something like Andrew Tate or something right. like that, if those are the type of guys you're going after, what the fuck are <laughs> enormous tax dollars going to you for why? We're for literally what? we're literally paying our money for them to police us. Yeah. Like the good people of, of the world, if you will. Like it's, it's all surveillance it's now. Money. We all see where please, it's going. Money, we see where please. it's going. They, they they charge me. You know what the fucking this? I went to get my license the other day at the DMV. Yes, I'm fucking almost forty getting my license at the DMV. You know what she says? You know what this fucking? You know what this kind woman says? She looks at me dead in the face. She goes, "Well, you better get your permit." And I said, "All right." I was like, "Well, that goes towards." She goes, "Nope." That and she was so happy to give me the bad news. Yeah. She says it's a hundred thirty dollars to get your permit. She goes, and you have to get your permit or else you got to wait two months to get your license. Right. I said, fuck you. I'm trying. To, I'm not even joking. <laughs> did, did she, goes, really? she goes, well, if you get pulled over, they're going to take it. I go, and what take else? Take it all. And what else take is Take it all. What? And, I'm and, fucking crazy. Yeah, and, and what's the alternative? Give you more money? Yes. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck it's Nevada. like Kingpin. Yeah, fuck <laughs> Nevada. The background. Please. Those casinos alone could take care of every goddamn citizen that lives out here. Every fucking Nevadan and Las Vegan that lives out here, that money should be going into our pockets, taking care of our roads. Mm -hmm. No, we still foot the bill for everything. Yeah. And that money goes to one like small group. They take our money and then they use our money against us. They literally weaponize yes. our own money. Yes. That we like work, sweat, blood, tears, all that, using yes. your time, not hanging out with your family, not yeah. seeing your friends. Then you pay them their cut, right? You got to render under Caesar, if you will. And then they take that money, weaponize it, and use it against us. Yeah. We're getting fucked, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, Something has to change. Dude, dude and, 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 and I would never fucking and that's say, on, on yeah. a mass scale, too. Yes. It's not like on a, like a, the whole country scale. Even globally, other governments are doing this shit. We all know. They all are. But they're just it, taking advantage at of At what point is enough enough? Like, they work for us, not the other way around. The truth is, is that you would need... Or they're supposed you would, to. You, you would need... And this is so shitty, and, and, and you talk... You you do need whatever they talk about January sixth. We need an insurrection. Mm -hmm. We need to. We need the citizens to literally go into the system and break it all down. Take the same ideals because it's a working system. Mm -hmm. We've seen it before. We've seen these governments. There's a clear line like, between exactly. the, the old traditional values and methods that we use in like you know our belief systems and yep. all that and how the country looked and ran then. I mean, minus you know like the hate crimes and all that shit. But I'm yep. talking like economically speaking. And um and then there's a, a clear drop off from the new age thinking like the results are in yep we've seen what it creates you know what I mean and look at look at the the whole of society the fabric of society is melting away right in front of us it's just mass psychosis everywhere the results are in.
So we, we got to find like a good, like happy blend of the two. Like there, there's got to be, there's some lessons from the new age stuff that we've done. Sure. You know what I mean? But there's also a lot of value in the old ways that we've refined and, and polished for hundreds of thousands of fucking years. They didn't come from nowhere. You know, this is like, like every generation exceeds the good work of the previous generation based off of the good work of the previous generation. Yeah. Like, for, like this TV didn't just exist. First, someone figured out electricity, and then they figured out circuit boards, and then soldering, and then the next guy learned all that, and then took that further and made, like, you know, 8-bit computers, and then the next guy learned that, and then took that to 16-bit, 64-bit, yada, 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 and there's a clear evolution. The same is true of, like, morals and values and thought systems, you know, and, and like, philosophies and logic and things like this. We need to find a good balance, keep the good, get rid of the bad, refine the rest, introduce new concepts, road test them, but if they don't work or when they don't work, get rid of them. Try something else. We shouldn't be married to any one specific ideal. Adaptation is the fundamental principle of all evolution. You know when it went wrong, Nick? When? For me, you know when it went wrong? So the I'm circuit board... Soapbox, bro. No, no. I'm okay. sorry. Dude, no, <laughs> hey. You know, I know that was really gay when I was touching. I like that. But this is how much I love you. Lower. This is how much of a man crush Lower I have Lower that hand, buddy. Is that when you <laughs> get on Nick that... my thigh. Dude, you don't know how much I love when you get on that, okay? Because then I get, then I interject with something and, and I'll lighten it up a little bit, but you're absolutely right. Because you know this shit and you read about this shit. You know when we went wrong... It wasn't when we made electricity. It wasn't mm -hmm. the circuit board. It wasn't a bunch of fucking men back with fedoras making these ideas. You know when yeah. it went wrong? When? When some eight-year-old in Japan made the TV <laughs> and then sent it over to our government and they taxed us 90% on the fucking thing. That's when things went wrong. Greed. When it was cheaper to have fucking... We, when, it, when we outsourced labor to other fucking countries to make this TV. 100%. That's when it was wrong. Now, granted, we were fucking up TVs left and right, but we could have learned. We could have learned. We could have learned. We could have learned. I'd say Cadillacs are pretty nice. You know what I mean? <laughs> so so I'm telling you this oh, right now. Sorry, no, go ahead. No, Here's please. No, no, no. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm just saying is that you're absolutely right. There, there, it, a, there was a point when, when, the, when the fuckers started getting fucked. Mm -hmm. I liked when our government would fuck other countries so we would fucking, pro, you know, succeed. That's how it was. Now, right. we don't need to be so brutal anymore because we, we are. We're this... Big huge we're work. Yeah, we're we're good. Yes. But but now you, the, the the scope went from okay, well, we can't fuck them, we can't fuck them. You know who we should fuck? Turn the fucking the the the, the perception right around it was like America. We right. can start taking out of their pockets. Now which we is, start fucking them. Which is the exact thing that made America come into existence because the, the, the UK or whatever, Great Britain or whatever the fuck. Yep. That's what happened. They started doing exactly this, and then we looked at them and said, fuck that, we'll start our own country. Yep. And that's exactly what, what created us. That's the inception of our whole country was based off of exactly what they're trying to do again now. Yes. So it's like, what do you think is going to happen? Human nature is human nature. You can only control and enslave people to a certain point, and eventually it wears off. Eventually people wake up, and there's a problem. So, And that's going to bring me back to the point I wanted to make a moment ago. Also... I'm sorry, like, sometimes we step on each other because we're, we both have, like, such a manic energy. Ooh, yeah. ooh. But I'm not trying to cut you off. Yeah, like, no, please, please. Okay, yeah, I don't mean to do that. So. No, please. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so I think that, like, throughout history in general, all right, how do I, how do I set this up? All right, so the people that are in power that have been running the show and they have so much to lose if we wake up to this and they know that, like, a, an insurrection might be coming and we might fight back. So they're going to be very, very aggressive and violent towards us uh, to, to control that situation from happening. And so in the past, when we realized we were getting fucked, someone would go out on the streets and rally everyone and get them frothing at the mouth, pissed off, you know, like, yeah, let's go get them, pitchforks, torches and all that. I think that, that uh, a new way of handling this should be introduced. And um, this is just something that I've been personally working on in my own head. So, all right. So these people are going to get attacked by us when we all realize what the fuck's going on and we all wake up to it and then there's pushback. But instead of saying, hey, let's get them, let's kill them, let's get them out of there, let's replace them with something else. Let's offer them the opportunity for redemption. So all energy can be converted. It cannot be destroyed. Everyone understands that to a point, right? So when you have hostility and then it's reacted to with hostility, violence begets violence, right? And then you perpetuate the cycle. Like if someone kills my brother, now I want vengeance. So I kill their brother and now their sister wants vengeance on me for killing their brother. And then they mm -hmm. kill my mom and then, and it just goes back and forth forever. So eventually we have to stop this cycle. So even though we could be 100% justified in how we've been treated and that we've been wronged and we've been disenfranchised and we have righteous anger, righteous hatred, we deserve, you know, what recompense and all this shit. Maybe it's time to look at the powers that be, the people that are up there that are afraid to lose those positions and say, hey, listen, we understand that what you're doing is wrong. We don't want to take this anymore. 
But instead of us saying, kill them, why don't we offer them the chance for redemption and say, hey, why don't you just come to the table and negotiate with us? We won't take all your power away. We won't take, we're not going to try to overthrow you and like be a threat to you, if you will. But how about we all just shake hands, let bygones be bygones, make legitimate changes that are in the service of all of us, and then just move forward and offer some kind of, some, what's, you know, grace. It's a little bit of mercy. Do you know what I'm saying? Because if we come at them with the face of we're going to come and get you and take it from you, they're going to fight back. And at some point, we need to try a different method in order to solve these issues. So I say to you guys, the powers that be that are going to probably whack Andrew Tate that killed John McAfee, listen, you fucked up. It's been terrible. We see what you're doing. It's awful. We want it to end. But hey, how about we just don't fight anymore? Why don't we offer you a chance for redemption and a little bit of peace and class and grace? And let's just get on with our lives and just do better from here on out. All right, just do. We're going to give you the chance to turn it around. Just do better. Can't we do that? I disagree. Uh, good. No, I like this. Good. Yeah. Let's hear it. It's your uh, turn. Get them the fuck out. <laughs> you work for us, cocksuckers. This money comes out of our pockets. You think I'm going to walk up to this establishment and go, listen, let's sit down and you can. We can no, no, no. You were supposed to do the right thing in the fucking beginning. You know when you were supposed to do the right thing? When we fucking elected you You're in right. there. You know what? You're right. You didn't get into office to fuck us. It's just what you wind up doing. You know what I mean? So when I so so when I talk about peace and everything like that, no, no, no. That was already established. Remember, we're, we're the advanced ones. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I do. I want to grab men and women and kick them right out on their fucking asses. But this is how we've always I, handled it historically. But I'm, And I know it's righteous and you are justified, like I was just saying. But maybe that's going to lead us into a civil war. We're absolutely going to have another civil war. We're going to have to fight it's gonna bloodshed, be much death, different. destruction. I don't I'm think like, we're, it's going to end on some field and bloodshed, though, where we're intense, sawing it off legs. I don't know about sawing off fucking Dude, legs. I can tell you this. I, one thing that everybody understands, and, and this is from the days of uh, 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 Bob Oppenheimer, one thing that everybody understands is that mass destruction pretty much leads to nowhere. Exactly. Because it gets nobody nothing, right? So if there's a civil war that's fought, it's not going to be on a battlefield. Hmm. Now, there's going to be casualties, and I'm talking about with life, but I could say this. It's going to be an economic one. It's going to be, well, he, our side wants this, and our side wants this, and then we're going to be this divided country, and that strength isn't going to be there anymore. And I'm not talking about diversity. Everybody's talking about, eh, strength is different. No, 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 no. It's going, to be, it's going to be politically split in half, mm -hmm. and because... We can't agree on anything. But where do you think that leads? Like, how, how can we have an economic war Bad. amongst ourselves? It's going to lead horrible. I was like, I, I We understand. suffer. We all suffer. But I'm saying we can't negotiate with people that were supposed to do the job right in the first place. We talked about it the other day. They haven't passed anything in Congress in fucking years. It's always this. It's always this majority. Republicans can come, uh, uh, put something on the table. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> Democrats put something <laughs> on the exactly table. Exactly what it is. <laughs> no, That's we what don't they want that. Do. Exactly. You know what I mean? And it's the fifty-one and the fifty-one and the fifty. And you know what? Nothing ever gets done. But that's what I'm saying. So like, so we have these opposing forces, but yes. how about we finally just fucking come together? Let's come to the negotiation mm -hmm. table and try a different way. I, I hear what you're saying, but that's, and again, like these are just theories that I've been having and just thoughts that I've had. It's a premature yep. thought. I've been developing it lately, but I think that there's something in that that can be worked with. that does make sense. Is there good people left well, there? Yes. But, but I think the up, corruption is so deep. Yeah, yeah. Dude. Yeah. Dude. Honestly, it is painfully obvious the laws that they break and shit now, and mm -hmm. they don't care. In broad that, daylight. That's what scares me. Because why? Because just going back to those government institutions, mm -hmm. same ones that put fee after fee after fee, you think the FBI is going to... Let's say uh, let's say one of them really did. Without going out in broad daylight and hacking somebody up in front of you, mm -hmm. let's say one of them stole ridiculous amounts of money from us tomorrow, mm -hmm. right? You think anybody's beating down their door? No. No. Not at all. No. Not they all. get away with it. Why? Because... Because the corruption runs so deep, mm -hmm. so I think I think a, I think the only thing that would save us is a complete and utter breakdown, clean house, get rid of all of them, and just start with anybody that's elected. And you know what? Since we can't agree on either side, that's totally fine. Start completely fresh. But but this is where it where we come in. Mm -hmm. Where where instead of what leads to a civil war, what comes in. We all have to make sacrifices and we all have to, um, 
we all have to uh, come to some type of conclusion and agreement, and we and we have to say, okay, small small losses here lead to big victories there. Right. We have to say, okay, you don't like this guy, take him off the table. We don't <coughs> like that guy, take, and it has to go one by one. But do you think we have the patience? But then it gets convoluted. You sure. Have this circular. Fucking... Well, dude, you think this is ever, this is a pipe dream? I'm telling you, it's <laughs> never gonna happen. Do I think we're leading to civil war? Yeah, but 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 I, that but that's what I'm telling you. I'm telling you this golden path that you know where everybody hands across America number two. Mm-hmm. Everybody's excited. We're all fucking happy in the streets, and we're making money again. No, I don't think it'll happen. No, I, I, I call me a pessimist. Call me whatever you want. Absolutely, I don't think it's happening. I think that we are headed towards an all-out collapse of the Western world, mm-hmm. and I think that well, we're I mean, to blame. That's probably it. true. I mean, if you read any history book, every empire falls apart, and it usually goes something like this. Yes. Know, it's at their peak, and then people get complacent, and then you know, everyone knows the great. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the, yeah, shit, absolutely, yeah. the yeah. fall of Rome. Blah yeah, blah blah. Yeah. But maybe just maybe if we apply a different tactic and a different psychology to solving the issue, we'll have a different result, which I strongly believe in. And you never know, like theories but getting on board, are getting them on board. Try. That's what I'm saying. Well, they're they're only going to show their teeth if they feel truly threatened, like we're coming for them, and they're going to push way harder. So if we just go, hey, look, we're of one mind. We all know what you're doing. We're ready to rock if we need to. But we're going to offer you this chance to come to the table. Maybe we can solve this peaceably, and then we can start angling in a different direction. It's just an idea. Yeah. I know we all want to cut their heads off, but at some point, it's like, it's got to stop somewhere. I think a lot of the crazy Someone's got to take the fucking high road, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I don't think anybody's wondering. I think, you, you know what I think? I, you know what I think is really heading the charge now? I think that there's the extreme mentality of the extreme condition is really holding us back. I think things have gone so far left and so far right that we can't see the forest for the trees. Mm, exactly. Can, yeah. Hey, dude, we, exactly. Yeah. We're so fucking crazy about I see the 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 tranny the other day. Like we made light of it, sure, but the tranny that I'm so pissed off, you know, because it's like it's like, dude, sticking a popsicle up his ass, pretending he's a woman. How is that crazy? At what point do you go? Come on. Yeah, like, come on. Come yeah. the fuck on. But can but, I fix this real fast? Sure, please. Nuts Absolutely. Just I can see that you're... Is it wiggling? No, you just... It's not hanging in front of the mic, so it's going to... It's so not going to capture yeah, this. Yeah. I don't want to have to edit no, the sound No, no, please. I'm, right. Am I... I'm, oh, it sounds much better. It does. Love you, bro. Okay. No, no, please. <laughs> yeah. If I'm sweet, please. <laughs> I didn't mean to like... No, no. Father you. No <laughs> worries. You, hey, dad, you get this right. You but want I said, a lolly? Yeah. You want a lolly? No. But, um... But yeah, it's 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 gone so far left, so far right that nobody's willing to negotiate any of their ideals for anything anymore, and that's why I get you. What you said was was perfect. It struck a chord. Is that you can't see the forest from the trees? Yeah, we're so zoomed in and micro analyzing every little detail, every little reaction, mm-hmm. everything that's said, everything that's done on such a micro scale. I'm guilty of it. That yeah. you're right. That we lost sight of the entire picture. So we need to expand and contract. Sometimes you zoom in and you need to see the details, and then sometimes you got to zoom out so you can see the bigger picture. Yeah, and you got to go in and out and change your zoom and change your level so you could see in a three hundred and sixty degree way everything that's actually happening. And that's why we need to stop zoning into or tuning into this shit every day on such a micro level and analyzing everything that's said, every news article, everything that everyone's talking about. Sometimes you just got to shut it the fuck off. Yeah, go take a walk, spend time with your friends and family, and don't think about it at all. And when you come back, you come back with a new perspective and fresh eyes. Decompress. And that gives you clarity. Yeah. And, and that's a hard thing to do now <clears throat> because it's like every – I can tell you this right now. I open my phone. I got social media. Mm-hmm. I'm like fucking everybody else. I open up my phone. Something's going to piss me off on Twitter. Immediately. And, and now you're yeah, in that thought exactly. process. Immediately. I hang that up. I go to IG. Something's going to piss me off on IG. Mm-hmm. Why? Because when you pull emotional cords on people, they're there to stay. And they know right, they, these look people into spend this. hundreds of they probably spend billions of dollars on, you know, just like researching psychology. Yeah. This stuff is all intentional. They know just like all of Vegas is based in human psychology. You think they're not doing that on a governmental scale? All these social media platforms, these coordinated attacks. They understand they have smart people on their side. They put research into this. Yep. We have to stop being duped. And the only way to do that is to take possession over your mind and to deprogram and detox from all the shit that they're putting in it. Yep. And the only way that you could do that is to stop consuming it for a while. Yeah. Let it's me as tell simple you, as that. Let me tell you how deep it goes. Let me But let please me, consume yeah. our show. Exactly. <laughs> listen to us. Yeah. Only yeah. listen to Irish spaghetti. Hey, I mean, don't get crazy. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're we're on the level. We'll bring the news <laughs> to your doorstep. Hey, we're different. We're not trying to piss you, you off, you know. <laughs> Um, I can tell you this. I have a GED, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Listen to me. Yeah. Listen you know, to me. I don't even have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you this right now, and you're right, they do. The psychology of it, 
I don't even remember what site it was on. I, I don't know. Some, maybe it was probably some, like, you know, educational site or something like that. It told me that there was hot girls in my area that wanted to fuck. <laughs> I looked into it. No, there wasn't. Of course. There wasn't. They just dangled that carrot. Exactly. Yeah. They had some 118-pound blonde with this, like, perfect there ass. There wasn't. On it, and <laughs> I drove around. She was not around there. And I'm like, well... What are you doing? You playing mind games now? Now I'm pissed <laughs> off, beating off in the car. It's, like, it's just it's real life clickbait. Exactly, That's all it is, man. Yeah, it's just beating off in the car. Hot moms that want to fuck. You get arrested for public exposure because you saw a fucking ad that you wanted to as look I'm, into. As I'm driving by an elementary, <laughs> going, ah! <laughs> it's just a complete and utter break. Ah! <laughs> At three sixteen, as the bell rings and their little fucking Naruto backpacks cross the street, I just fucking dangling out the window. How do you do it? Can you do the... <laughs> just so pissed off. It's so over the top. The moms, the moms that give the interviewer just like, all I saw was rage in his eyes. You just have Rady's eyes. <laughs> he just yeah. fucking crazy. Yeah, he, cr- yeah. he crossed into, or he crashed into that Denali back there, ejaculated on the street, screamed Vladimir Putin and ran that way. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Me and my four children here just had to leave. Ah, fucking nasty. Moral of the stories. We need more honesty in advertising. Moral of the stories. So this shit doesn't happen again. Pornhub lied. Hide your kids. Hide, Hide your, your kids. wife. Because they're ripping on everybody else. <laughs> Dude, you know what's so funny is that the internet was so young at that point that you oh, really like Michael Jordan crying and that and stuff like that. Like you remembered every new thing that was coming out. The remixes, like the Sweet Brown and all that. Dude, <laughs> shit happens so fast now that honestly, it's like, have you ever like, like something that some big story that just happened, odds are it was probably only like a month ago, mm-hmm. and because so much shit, so much new shit is just getting. You want some water? No, I'm good. Yeah. Why do I sound all dry? No, you out? just you were swallowing, so I thought you were <laughs> struggling. Not to not to father you again. Yeah, I'm doing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I go go poop. <laughs> poop. Come on. Yeah. I hold your hand and lead you <laughs> off camera. Kaka, Kaka. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're taller than me. <laughs> it's like a don't be a menace. It's like you know you can't go I'm, to this party, Dad. I, I'm your big retarded son. <laughs> I got the big tongue, and, like the big like I need the big tongue. So it was like <laughs> that giant. <laughs> the hands always pointing like eight different ones. <laughs> oh my god! That was like, dude, and the smiles like it's like it's like. It's like that's fucking. Yeah. I'm sorry, dude. Those are the happiest people on earth, though. Dude, Norm yeah. McDonald has that great bit where he talks about how he wishes he was retarded because they're happy and people get mad at him. He's like, what? He's like, for what? He's like, they literally achieved this state that we work our whole lives yeah. to try to get yeah. to. I'd rather be blissfully I dumb. Yeah. I don't mind at all, man. Yeah, dude, why we, not? we just gave a fucking 30 minute seminar on all the shit that pisses you off just by waking up in the morning. Yeah. I'm telling you, dude, I would much rather just be dumb to it all. Yeah. I know. You're 40 years old going, baby shark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Just clapping to it, dude. Just dude fucking dude, big dude, nine dude. inch cock. Fucking <laughs> just, stre- <laughs> just stretching it out like it's taffy while you're watching Baby Shark. You're not even beating off. You're just yanking on it because it's there. Stretching it out. You know what I mean? It doesn't even get hard. Yeah. You get. You you're got just it. skipping it like a jump you, rope. You got your feet touching the fucking. You know, a painting on the wall, just knocking it off. <laughs> your giant feet just rubbing it. He pogo sticks on it like Tigger's <laughs> tail. Mm, <laughs> yeah. You know, fucking a. You know what I mean? Oh fucking. Oh, we, you know, we got it. One day we got it. We brought this up during the. The I guess the birth of our podcast. We watched that. Um, remember like Lady Cop? We there was like some five. Oh, oh dude, yeah. the, the front kick. Mm-hmm. We have to watch that. We Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. He's like, don't yeah. fuck up my mom or whatever. So there's some fucking <laughs> dude comes nine in. foot man. That's... This is gold. We might pull this up. Well, we dude, might... I always try Tell to bring them. this up. Set this up. I'm gonna try to find it. I always try to bring this up, ladies. Women, this is gold. Yeah. Women in law enforcement, I've seen really good things and I've seen really scary shit. And and I'm just saying it's What like, do I type real quick? Sorry. Uh woman cop shoot. Dude, we didn't put the external hard drive in. This may be an issue. Right. How much did we got? Oh, know. we're recording. No, I just paused it. Because it said uh, the path doesn't work or some shit. I always know that the record, sometimes, I mean, but hey, fucking, you know this better than I do. This is today, right? One, yeah. <laughs> this is today, one, one, 23. <laughs> but I can't tell if it's still, if it's still going or not. I think we're still going, dude. Honestly, that record is going on now. 
And and it and it, it, would, it would have a set as a thumbnail anyways. I thought I had us paused. No, it was paused for a second. I think when you clicked into YouTube, but I think it might be back going now. <clears throat> but we can start, we can turn it off if you want. No, it's fine. I want to keep going. I just noticed that we didn't have the external hard drive in. But do you guys see, this is fucking episode three. Do you see how good we're getting at this now? I mean, eat your fucking hearts out, man. We are getting so good at this. Yeah, it's recording to the PC. Is that good? I mean, it seems like it's, it seems like it's still going. It's holding right? up, right? Okay, so right, cool. depending on where you, we might just have chopped up, but depending on where we are, we want to show you the video. It's our fucking, our favorite police, like, like, what do you got that body cam footage ever? Like this fucking head kick was just so good, dude. It's just the whole, the whole thing just kind of wraps up in a nice, neat package. Just this asshole is just a behemoth. Just the shit fucking kicked into him. This little female cop <laughs> shooting this dude's mom on a whim. Could you imagine? Could you imagine this monster's in front of you and you're doing everything you can not to piss it off and you shoot the one thing that loves it? When, when you see this guy, this guy, he has a fucking Easter Island head. Dude, it's unreal. His skull, <laughs> He's enormous. His skull is like eight inches thick, dude, and this cop fucking puts it down. But the, the front kick, did you tell him about the front kick? Yeah. I was focused. Yeah. yeah. That, that oh, it's so perfect. Kick. He gets him with like the ball of the foot, like just proper technique. This guy should go into MMA. Bap. Oh, let's let's watch it. Here we go. And, and this helmet yeah. that this fucker carries around with every day of his life. Think of this. The cop should have knocked his fucking head off. Instead, this guy responds. And remember what he says? He looks at the cop Does that like, just don't hurt my mom. No, no, no. He looks at him and he looks at the cop that just kicked the living shit out of right <laughs> head kick, right? Yeah. Which would have knocked the best anybody kick. up. He looks this cop dead in his face and he goes. Fucking take me in my head. Oh, that's right. I love him. I love him, dude. You ready? You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> he does he say he kicked me in my fucking head. Yeah, he kicked me in my fucking head. Man. This monster. This is gold. Shooting investigation. Good evening and thanks Who's for joining us. I'm Lauren Thomas in for J.R. Barry. Okay. Tonight we're getting a look at body camera footage just released out of the upstate showing an officer involved shooting. <laughs> the incident happened back in October and authorities great. say a deputy with him. the Greenville County Sheriff's Office unintentionally shot and wounded a shoplifting suspect's mother in a confrontation. <laughs> now, this video missed? has been Why edited by the Greenville By the way, a nine-foot-wide guy fucking, fucking she missed him and hit the yeah, mom. Right remain silent. The side According of to the video, look the deputy went to a home on a He's enormous. Look, look at this fucking guy. He's like Jim Brewer. Yes. Like a ten-foot tall Jim Brewer. He's scared. He's enormous Jim Brewer. seen resisting arrest and arguing with the deputy. The deputy then called for backup and can be seen in the video struggling with Kaiser. Okay. He's in control. Let go. The yeah. Greenville County He's Sheriff's Department they points out that Kaiser grabbed the deputy's wrist. He continues to grapple with her, but she pulls away and draws her gun. Damn. 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 The mother of Kaiser can be seen trying to calm him down, but in the line of potential fire. Back up! And that's when Dude. Kaiser can be seen charging at the deputy, Jeez, and she fired, terrifying. then fired again. It was later reported that one of the police How do you the suspect's miss? mother. Later, after a struggle, another deputy enters Here to help in the arrest. The front kick, baby. <laughs> Bam! Oh, 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 oh my God! God. Dude, that that takes me. Hello, anybody home? The suspect, Sean Kaiser, was charged oh, with resisting look arrest, at that head. assault, and battery. Nick, look at that head. Shot. Let's go back to the kick. The deputy involved. I need to get that kick in. It's a cinder block. The incident is okay. Oh, the suspect, we anyway, Sean Kaiser, was charged kick, with resisting arrest. Later, oh, after a struggle, not another not deputy enters to help in the arrest. Oh, yeah. oh my god! Did you hear that? Oh my god! That's so good! The suspect, Sean Kaiser, was charged with resisting arrest. Sean the Head Kaiser. <laughs> Dude, man, that's That's nothing. his nickname in the tabloids. Dude, that skull oh, god, is so almighty. thick. Boy, do I love that clip. Oh, I love him so much, dude. When he had that bitch's wrist, though, dude, she went, get off of me. Like, she was in control at that point. It was, dude, she, that's the issue. She was completely and utterly defenseless. He let her go. She, she should, at that point, she should have ran out of the house and waited for backup. She escalated the situation, but because she didn't want the shame of calling every cop on the force to stop King Kong from climbing a building and fucking grabbing 
there when the Chrysler building swinging her around while fucking planes fly around and shoot him. Instead, she tries to take command of the situation. And then what happens? Who had to save her? A bigger guy. It's the... I don't know, dude. I'm not... And I'm not planes a, fly around. Yeah, dude. I'm not some misogynist or anything like that, dude. That's totally fine. Sorry, but at I'm least be capable. So Am I crazy? At least be capable of doing the job. Yeah, you're batshit insane, bro. I, I would never, I would never expect Tila Tequila to come and save me from a bunch of potential muggers. You know what I mean? I fucked this screen up, bro. It's all right. <laughs> all right. Well, you know what? We're gonna have to make do with that. You know what? We'll make. I'm just saying, like, we, we're like out of frame. No, 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 no. Look, we're. I'm still back learning, guys. Just bear with us. I'll get better at this. All right, cool. Hey, at least we got it in one take so far. You look good. I look like shit still, but I think that's just how I look. <laughs> I'll try to make you look better. Watch. Take like 40 pounds off me. How do you like that? Yeah, yeah. hey, yeah, okay. Yeah, right. opa. It's coming. Opa, opa. It's coming oh. together. Ooh, whoa, it's crazy. There, good oh, enough. Really good. Really All right, fuck it. It is yeah. what it is. Cares. All right. All right. Let's so see what's what next, next on the docket. <laughs> we didn't even fuck with our stores. We're doing good. We're doing damn good. All right. I'll tell you what, Nick. We got Logan Paul, and I want. We wanted to bring this. We wanted, okay. We're gonna do a yeah, quick we, callback to yes, Logan Paul. Exactly. We want to at least say something about this. Logan Paul is finally facing adult consequences. Backlash. Not for leaving flaming dog shit on somebody's door and making a million dollars for it. But for fucking people over, for robbing innocent kids, for finally selling bullshit products and get rich quick fucking pyramid schemes that he's mm -hmm. just heading with that. And the problem is, is that if he was an evil genius, I'd be fine with it. But it's even, he's even more scary. Why? Because he's fucking stupid mm -hmm. and he's telling mm -hmm. you that he can make you money and he can make you rich and he could change your life when really he's so fucking ignorant to anything that even has to do with the crypto world. And you know what, dude? That's okay. I'm ignorant to that shit too. But at least I'm not trying to fucking tell you, put your right. life savings in something. Right. And people do. That reminds me of that great line in The Devil's Advocate where Al Pacino plays uh, Lucifer. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, he was telling Keanu Reeves, he's like, you know what your problem is? You have all that flash, you know, and like people could see you coming. And he's like, that's why I keep myself small. And he's like, never let them see you coming. Yeah. So basically like the devil's like, don't look like a threat. You know what I mean? Be a threat, but don't look like it. And that's how you slip in and do insidious shit. And that's kind of what Logan, he's got, you know, he's like a young, youthful guy, pretty boy looking face, whatever, acts nice. Acts like he cares. He doesn't look like an evil guy. The type of guy that's gonna. That, that's what makes yeah. him especially dangerous. <clears throat> so you think he's all right? I think he's a fucking idiot. And well, we had this discussion already. I think he's fucking stupid. You think he's a little more on it, and he's trying to get. I don't think he's a genius by any stretch of the. I just. I don't. But think you think that he that's, was potentially robbing these people? You think he wanted to I think, rob them? I don't think that he was dumb and didn't know what he was doing. I think that he's of a, I think he's of a, a average intelligence and knows what he was doing. I don't think he's fucking a criminal mastermind, but I don't think he's so dumb that it exonerates him from his actions. Do you think that? Get off, all right, same subject, but get off a little bit. Just out of curiosity, do you think that? Well, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's always been a, like you know, with actors and stuff like that. But I mean, at this large scale, do you think that too many ignorant people? are getting massively rich today. You know what I mean? Yes. Like there's more opportunity than ever, but at least at least dumb people had to have some type of talent. I mean, where you lacked an intelligence, you had talents like but movie rich, stars. Rich, like getting and stuff rich like in that. what capacity? I'm like, talking about doing like, what? I'm talking about like the like like uh porno people or it's same avenue, but I mean they launched some of those the Kardashians. Like I mean they 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 don't have any talent. They're they're beautiful people, bro. I'd rather work in a fucking coal mine for a thousand years and take a dick up my ass. So they deserve every penny they get, as far as I'm concerned. You yeah, know, the porn people, yeah. it's like living in fear factor every day for your whole life. Oh fuck that! Yeah. It's just well, yeah. I, I mean, I get it, and it's dirty, and, and you, it's hard to it's hard to come it's back foul, from bro. it. It's really gross, it's disgusting. But all right, now now no, do this right. But the the money is so quick. That's what I'm trying. That's what I'm getting at. There's so much opportunity. Like, like, dude, the girls, all right, 
we all knew who like sluts in high school were. You know, every, the girl that sucked ten guys' dicks at one of the <laughs> fucking keggers or something like that. Well, now. That, uh, Jennifer. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, everyone has a name that just exactly. popped in their head yeah. instantaneously. Hello, Lisa. Yeah, that one. He actually probably. There's one guy out there that married her. Oh yeah, <laughs> fucking a. Me. That's that was my. That's me. That was me. You know what I mean? That I was the. I was the one that I was. I was number nine. <laughs> Remember, there was ten. I was number nine that asked her out after the party. Yeah. <laughs> There was even one after me. Oh after he was done, I went back and asked her out. No, but but that's what I'm saying. It's like it's like all right, that girl does some shameful shit in high school. Right now, all she has to do these days is continue being shameful, and she has an acre of land with a fucking mansion, a pool, a fucking Ferrari. What I sure. mean, is a Ferrari still a nice car? I guess, right? I think so. Right? I think so. Right. right? You know, I want a Ferrari. Probably. I want a man, hey, Ferrari. Hook us up. Hey, listen, you drop one of hey. my. Yeah, you drop my. You drop we'll, one of my driveway. We'll get the word out. <laughs> we'll get the word out that your cars are yeah. great. <laughs> we'll we'll get one of your cars rented. <laughs> Not even bought. No, but sixteen it's like, people pool their money to rent one Ferrari. But that's what I'm saying. It's like it's like all right. So you know you got them. You got that gross fucking part. And then you got people that don't have any real talent. They just like. Uh, like, me and you are actually taking a pretty noble approach to this. We're trying to tell you, if you think like us and you're on board with us and you do things like that, come listen to us. See mm -hmm. what you think. Maybe we're entertained by it. Maybe we crack some jokes and you'll get it. All right, at least we're trying. I'm not going, okay, I'm going to do a reaction video. Watch my face while I watch a fucking YouTube video and, and, and you tell me and you click and you click like it. I'm just saying, it's like, it doesn't take much intelligence to do True. that. And people are well, getting we're not using other rich. people's work really. Like it's, I mean, we show yeah. the video, but then it's just us, our original thoughts and ideas, and you know. But that's I guess that's what they're doing yeah. too on a reaction video, though. But do you get what I'm saying? I don't, like, I don't know. Is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? That you could get so rich, or OnlyFans or whatever, you could get so rich by being a whore or or just a, or, or you don't have to like shoot to be a doctor anymore. And I know that there's so many people now. So it's like, I guess it's either good and bad and, you know, is it, but it does nothing for the economy. Sucking a cock does nothing for the economy. No. You're not, you're not contributing. I mean, you're contributing to society and I'm contributing to this rag. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's pretty nasty. A contribution. Like I'm contributing is to this it? rag. Yeah. You know, a contribution. Buy stock and towels. <laughs> yeah. Towel stocks yeah. are going through the, they're going to fucking Monogram tenets. towels and the man, the, the sirs towels all covered in fucking gross cups. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but I but I mean it's like so that's what I'm saying it's like going back to Logan Paul I know it's a, it was kind of straight off but I'm that's what I'm getting at is that you got this guy that thinks he's successful because he's done amazing things dude you and your brother are annoyed me. at least your brother's fucking fighting now yeah, I love I, like Jake, I love him I'm I love him. dude this dude doesn't need to get his head beat in and because he's so with it. He, he's putting his body at risk to at least entertain you for the money you're going to spend on mm -hmm. him. Logan has that guy who blows him on the side going, Logan's really into this. But let's be honest. This. Would you want to be Logan Paul? Like, all right. So when I watch him on screen, even though he's like rich and successful by all the metrics that normal people measure by, if you will, but he looks depressed. He looks soulless. He looks kind of fucked up inside. He looks like he's got emotional problems. He doesn't look happy in his eyes. I don't see like a twinkle in his eyes. He doesn't look like he's at peace. He looks like he has disease, right? Fundamentally, I'm, but probably from all the shady shit that he's doing. Sure, I'm all those things now, and I'm broke. So yeah, I'll, I'll take Logan. Yeah, I mean, give, if you're give, like, give me Logan. <laughs> but, but <sighs> I get, I get what you're saying, but I, unless you're a psychopath how or a sociopath, there's a, there's yes. a soul tax that comes with fucking yes. people over or being immoral. You pay the I, price. You, you got, dude. All right, even to do that job, even to have such a shallow existence, you got to be a little crazy. Mm -hmm. I get that. You know what I mean? But but that's what I'm saying. That's what I mean. This guy thinks that he pulled something off is what you, why he's trying to pull yeah, more stuff off. Yeah, he did a fucking off. heist. That's yeah. what he pulled off. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and, but he but 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 that's what I mean. I think he thinks that because he made money in YouTube that he can make money. So what I'm saying is, I don't think that it was this evil genius plan in the end. I think again 
that he took something that he thought was cool and trendy. It was like, yup. And some and somebody smarter, like the Crypto King guy, mm -hmm. got maybe got his ear. They had one conversation at dinner, had some fucking, you know, groupies blowing him. And he's like, yeah, man, you can make a lot of money. You could do this. Crypto is in right now. You could do this. And he thought he could actually get on board and do something. You can't just fucking that sounds delve into that. to us because we're broke. Yeah. That's like saying, like, Imagine you had a fridge full of food and you wanted your, you know, what I mean, you, you're not hungry. Yeah. And then someone comes in and says, "Hey, if you if you rob this grocery store, you could have all this food." And you're like, "Why? I already have a fucking fridge full of food." Yeah. That's what I don't understand. Like when we're processing from, he our, is. from our poor perspective, it yeah. sounds enticing. Sure, I get that to a point. I still wouldn't do it, but I at least understand the inclination. But if you're already not wanting, like, yeah. what, what what are you doing? Then you're just evil. You're just evil. Yeah. It's a, does he even have kids? Like he, he's not doing it for his family. He's no. not doing it to help anybody. Yeah. Like I just don't get that, man. So I just don't. You're understand saying that. his perspective. The only thing better than a lot of money yeah. is more. That's pretty shitty. Yeah, right? that, that means yeah. that there's something sick and twisted inside. Yeah. It's like someone who like gets laid all the time, but then also rapes. Why are you doing that? If yeah. you get laid, if you if you get laid and beautiful women are surrounding you at all times, but you still have the inclination to rape. There's something dark and twisted inside of you. And I know like those metaphors don't equal up exactly, but conceptually yeah. they make sense together. Yeah. So like that juxtaposition. But I'm just saying, like, you know, he has money, he's not starving. It's not from like some kind of human need that he's doing these horrible things. It's just evil. Like I get what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. If you don't get laid, it's okay to rape. Why well, be a dead horse? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that just went. <laughs> Hey man, I didn't make the rules. Well, hey, I'm just, I'm just listen, God's with Italian, I'm fucking knocking it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, but yeah, I get you, man. I, we just wanted to do a callback that this asshole is finally paying the piper, and I mean, I doubt any of those people that invested them. It's been kind again, of nice to see. again, even like I, I didn't have, I didn't like him, but I didn't have a problem with Logan Paul before. I'm no, just saying, I was neutral towards him until this shit. Yeah, like we like. like we're not making a whole episode about this, but we like Andrew Tate, but I would never give Andrew Tate my life savings because he says so. You know what I mean? Yeah, you I just think for yourself. Yes, I just don't understand how anybody dumb enough is willing to fucking go like, yeah, hey, Logan Paul says these fucking Pokemon. I don't think that they're d It might not be a matter of like intelligence. Maybe you're just a trusting person. You know, maybe you're just like a, I don't know. Some people are gullible and not stupid. Eh, sucker that's a born every day. Sell, honestly, maybe. Sucker born, dude. Dude, you got I don't money, know, man. Dude, I, don't know. I, I and I get what you're saying. It's like if you have money and you've always had money, then you've ne then you one thing you've never thought is what it'd be like without it. You know, mm -hmm. you just adjust that lifestyle. If I had, if I if I got money today, which I plan on doing with this podcast, if I got money today, if I got rich today, I would make sure that I never lose it. I would do everything in my power. Sure, I'm gonna put away things. I'm gonna make the smartest investment that I'm going to, I'm going to sit down with financial advisors and really, really listen. Mm -hmm. People like that, I guess, don't think like that. I think they're just like, Hey, who involves it? I can do this money. Let's take all my money. Like the, it'll be there forever. Yeah. Like that revenue stream is always going to be here to refill yeah. my cup yeah. and I can never drink I wish I had that problem. problem. Yeah. I wish I had that problem. Imagine Doesn't that. everybody? Yeah. Imagine who, yeah. who's, hey, who's a celebrity <laughs> dad you would want? If I, you celebrity mean, dad, a celebrity, or, who celebrity is my, dad or mom, who I is just, now my father? Yes. Like, yes. Ooh, that's a that's a good question. I need to think about that for a minute. Celebrity dad that I would want. Tom Brady watch. would be nice, but him putting his hands down your pants all the time would be a little weird. You know? Honestly, um, just for like you know, no one <laughs> cool motherfucker, business savvy, and all that. Fifty Cent. Yeah. I bet you Fifty Cent's kids are smart, well rounded. They're you know they're they're fucking savvy with because. He's got that street hustle, that street smarts, and he has business intelligence. It's like that line in... Uh, Do you not in, know who Marquise is? What? No. <laughs> I t I'm not plugged in his shit, bro. But it, real quick, it reminds me of Bronx Tale where he's like, you're getting two educations. Okay. One from the street and one from school. All right, here's a third education from me. Thanks, okay? man. All right, Sire. All right, I love 50, and you're right. 50, bro. Let me tell you something. I would appreciate it, but it's funny, though, because you bring him up. Was well, he a piece okay. of shit? No, no. Okay, absolutely right, not. Uh, was I completely no. off the mark? No, yes. <laughs> Dude, he... Let, but here's here's where 50 Cent fucked up, but you don't think like this when it's in a day. 50 Cent has a kid now with... I forgot who the chick is. It's that Asian chick or uh, China Doll or something like that. Any, anyways, it doesn't make a fucking lick of difference, but he has Sire now, and that's his little baby boy. This kid is well taken care of. He will always be... 50 Cent will always look out for this kid. Mm -hmm. Well, 50 Cent... First kid who was the little boy that had the the 
Remember back when uh, in the club now? Okay, well he had the, he had his son. And they he, might remember. Yeah, he had yeah. You guys remember? He had his son Marquise. He, he had like the the uh, fur jacket, the mink coat on. He was this little boy, and he took him everywhere. And blah blah blah. Well, Marquise's mom, Fifty Cent, obviously moved on from her. What well, you're gonna keep that project pussy around when you're flying around the world? You're, when you when you're going to France in the summer, you're gonna keep that project pussy around. No, I don't think impossible. so. No, it's no. Impo- no one can do you it. You know, it's sweetheart. Honestly. You sh- you shouldn't be happy. He's going to take you for the ride. You should, at mm-hmm. that point, you should just shut your fucking mouth. Give him a break, yeah, man. Really, you it's not I mean? enough. Like everything he's accomplished and done yep. is not enough. You can't let the guy. Yeah, you can't get his. Ugh, you, give him a break. You can't let him get his pipe polished by fucking beautiful models. It's dude, honestly, there's not a man on earth that can resist that at least for a while. Dude, Maybe at some point you settle down and yep. you find the one and you learn your lesson, but. That's just biologically wired in our DNA, Dude, man. It's, and, it's, it's impossible. And, I, and I'm and i telling you right now, I got a daughter. Mm-hmm. I would never tell her, yeah, let your husband go out and fuck around on you. But I can tell you this. If your husband is a mega celebrity, it pretty much just comes with the package. Like You should just know like, what listen, you're getting into. Listen, you make that decision. Yeah. You want to live like that? If you want to live like that, if you want everything your wildest dreams could ever came, could ever fucking dream of, then you're probably going to see other women hanging around them. Mm-hmm. And it's probably where there's smoke, there's fire. And that's just the way. He's a fucking rapper. Mm-hmm. What the fuck do you think he's going to do with those video girls? Well, it's just like mics yeah. turn off? society and especially you know, like girls, they don't live in our, like, I don't understand how women feel all the time. I'm not a girl, so I don't know what those hormones are like and everything. But for us, I always say the same thing. It's literally being a guy is literally like being blade. Where he like the thirst always wins, and he's always taking the serum and shit. But eventually the thirst happens, and if you're around enough people, eventually you're gonna you're gonna fucking you're gonna succumb, man. Yeah. It's literally like a vampire's bloodlust. It's the hardest thing on earth, especially when you're rich, famous, and all that, and like it's being thrown at you at a constant pace. It's impossible, man. It's yeah. just, it's just impossible. No one's someone's gonna slip up eventually a little bit here and there. It's almost impossible. Like. When you're older and you like, you know, you become more wise and those appetites kind of diminish and you settle down, you realize what's actually important. But when you're in the height of that appetite and it's got its grip on you, and you just good want it, want luck, it, yeah. dude, good luck. Yeah. Good luck. And, and, and the only thing that stops most people is that they can't. Yeah. And, and you know what I'll tell you is right now, like you said, Blade, you want, you want, you want mm-hmm. when you're, and then eventually you're letting a guy named Whisker take care dude, of it because it's so hard. Dude, remember that he always says he's like, he's like the thirst always wins. Yeah. There's no truer statement than that shit on a long enough time. And the Whisker line. comes over. And Whistler, bro. Play. Oh, Whistler. 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 I thought his name was Whisker. <laughs> no, but, uh, but and you're right. Like, you know, so, so and watch it. Watch him a piece of shit or no, anything. No, it does not. Just, and not only that. We all I'm have sorry. our cross to bear. No, no, but, we but even if, okay, so, that, but, but you're talking about, yeah, that's a regular guy getting pussy, doing things. Find young guys doing it, you know. What I mean? but, but back to Marquee and Fiddy, wasn't that what we were talking? About? Yeah, yeah. But but wait, one more point. But, yeah. but this but this goes back. Okay. But also a mega celebrity, <laughs> you know, you, you think that you think that it's not going to be around. It's just what it is. Why why do six why do extremely successful men they think they think that they're just going to fucking work that hard and and not play? Mm-hmm. It's just not going to happen. So you could either That's accept this, yeah, you could either accept the situation and and live with the fruits of his labor or or do what she did. And or find a nice middle class dude who's not successful. And let him f- and yeah, bang out while he's on the tour. You know what I mean? The fuck. Oh, I, were you going a different direction no, with that? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah, no. You go get yours, sweetheart. Like, here, here. Yeah. Come on, sis. You Huzzah. go get you get you get yours taken care of too, fucking baby. You know what I mean? I'll turn a blind eye. Exactly. You. Exactly. All right. So this is how this is how his idiot project that had fucking less than less decided to go about it, okay? Mm-hmm. So she decides to go the court route. So she can't stand that video models are tugging his fucking cock daily. So what does she do? She takes, she weaponizes the sun. She says, you're not going to be around the sun anymore. Your lifestyle is disgusting. Dude. All right, now dig this. This kid is fucking hot, hot. And 50 Cent Life, what was he doing at this point? He was on tour. He's trying to build himself up. And everything he did is right. That's why he's so fucking successful today, okay? He's so one of my favorites. All the moves that he did, all the fucking, all the rap shit, the beefs and everything that this fucking guy went through with a price on his head and mm-hmm. everything else, 
spread. Okay, he did all this on purpose. Why? So now he will never have to worry about finances again. And he lives real fucking good mm-hmm. with his creation Smart of power guy. and all that. Yeah. He, he, now he never has to, he never has to put another rap together again in his fucking life. He does television, which is way more profitable. Vitamin and, water, and, baby. Yeah, vitamin water, and Ooh. and nobody is out to kill you in these things. Great. Right. That's how that's what he did. That's why he went through all of it. Well, the person that's supposed to be in his corner, here's what she does. She she doesn't like the girls around, so what does she do? All right, I'm not with you anymore, but I definitely want my money. So I'm going to hit you for alimony, or I'm going to hit you for child support because mm-hmm. they were never married, right? So <clears throat> she gets him for the most ridiculous amount of child support, right? And what does she do? She weaponizes the kid, and she tells him that kid every day. She tells Marquis. He hates you. He hates us. That's he the doesn't take care of you. Man. Don't fuck with kids. Yep. So at 14, this kid comes out. He says he doesn't give a fuck about his dad. He hasn't seen him in years. Completely estranged, right? Now, 18 years old, this fucking bitch, because she's such a stupid project bitch, has now spent all of the money. How is that even possible? Because she's an idiot fuck that lives above How her means. Fuck? That 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 has no money coming in except for fifty. And the second it comes in, she wants to feel good about herself, so it goes out the other side, mm-hmm. right? And this is what happens when you give someone money instead of them having to earn it. They don't Absolutely. understand the value of it. Yes. You don't know what this guy had to go through to get this shit. Oh, dude, he knows. He knows. He knows getting fucking shot at and everything else. So that's why he appreciates every red fucking scent that comes mm-hmm. through the other side. So now, what happens? He completely kicks both of them to curb. He doesn't want nothing to do them. They hate him anyway, so who cares? So now, you got 50 Cent Son. They put away just enough money where 50 Cent Son, I think for the next 30 years, could get about 5000 a week for the next 30 years. You know what this asshole comes out and says? He's now like 25, 26 now. Mm-hmm. He comes out and he says that 5000 a week isn't enough money. He should be shot, not 50. Dude, Fuck. It's the Are you serious? I'm dead serious. That, that, that is the most astronomical level of entitlement I've ever fucking heard. How crazy Dude. is that? Think about your own life, ladies and gentlemen, right now. Yeah. Five grand, five grand a, a week. week. Five grand a month is a good living for most people. Dude, That's I take yeah, I take five grand every two months yeah. just to do this show. A hundred percent. Absolutely. A week. Yes. What could you yes. possibly buy? What could you Jordan. buy? So what? Jordans. Ugh. Shoes. Fancy hat. I just want you to hold his arms behind his back so I can just punch him in the stomach as hard as I can. Fucking 600 times in a row. Dude, so he's on there complaining. And then he tries to break it down. You should have saw the comment section when I remember this story broke a while back. But you should have saw the comment section. But he tries to break it down. You know what this asshole says? He goes, I live in the city. You know what, dickhead? Make an adult move. You're You're almost 30 now. Move the fuck out of the city. How do you have the audacity to complain about your life and your circumstances knowing who your father was and where he came from? You think you had it rough? He still talks shit about him. You ever see Get Rich or Die trying? Exactly. You think that you had it rough? Exactly. You're not shit compared to daddy. Go back to your... 50 yeah, Cent had exactly. it rough. You still live in the same city. Go to your dad's Dude, neighborhood. And then try to make it out. Yeah, Put go, yourself go in his walk shoes around. And, yeah. and then talk shit about that man. That exactly. great man who ascended against all odds. Against all odds. It's a fucking joke. Go walk He's around his... His neighborhood with that same sense of entitlement, the same clothes that you bought with your dad's money. Go walk around. It's a fucking joke. And but but that's why, man. It's like, do we gotta start beating our kids again, on, dude? Celebrities. <laughs> These kids need to get smacked the fuck up. It's it's. I, I've seen it a million times with regular guys too, dude. They weaponize the kids. That the court Happens system the is completely leaned against men. It's it's made to look like it's made to make you look like a fool in the end you you get docked for walking away from a loveless marriage or a loveless uh child situation mm. and the women gets rewarded why right why? it's an antiquated process yeah man. we haven't we again we haven't adapted yet but it's fucking shame it's it'll turn it will. it'll turn there's well, just there's too many deadbeat more. moms now yeah. it was it was always looked at like if you walked away the, the basically it all started it, it was a stigma that it got it all started back in the 50s and the 60s when you had the nuclear family. If you left your family, you probably were a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Why? Because your wife wasn't going to work. 
Now she's going to go on the stage. You were dooming yeah, them to exactly, a horrible yeah, exactly. life, basically. But, but, dude, I'm sorry. Get with the times. Yeah. You know, I every job All I've had, need to there be was an equal amount of women working there, too. Yeah. So if they're able to do the job and they're able to make it just as much as I'm making, then there's no fucking reason why they can't support themselves. They get the same money. They have the same fucking bank accounts. Why? There's why? still people out there that will argue that there's still a gender pay gap, which that's one of the, the most absurd myths. Like, I can't wrap my mind right around why anyone believes that that's true at all. It's a democratic like, we talk talk, no, But it's not even that. But we, we all live in reality. We all have jobs. We all work with people. Go to your job tomorrow. Look at the girls next to you and go, how much do you make an hour? And mm -hmm. then look at your paycheck and notice that it's exactly the fucking same. How could you perpetuate that lie yeah. when we live in reality? I've been working since I was 16 years old. I've never made more than any girl I've ever worked with ever in any job. And I've had 30 fucking different types of jobs. Yeah. It's such an obvious lie. It's not true. Like, where, where, if that was true, wouldn't there be like companies that hire only women so they could save a buck? Yeah. Like, where the fuck is this true? It doesn't make any sense. People just want to believe it because it's just, it's like, it's like they pat themselves on the back and go, poor me and victimize themselves. But let's just use some logic and reason. Again, go to your job, talk to the girl next to you, ask her what she makes. It's going to be what you make unless yeah. you've been there longer and you had an extra raise that she's not going to get until well, she hits the same tenure yeah. that you have. Let's talk like, about opportunity. How, how can yeah. you say that and people still believe it? It's, it's insane. fucking mind-blowing. How about opportunity? I know I know plumbers that have carpal tunnel. Their hands are like this from <laughs> fucking squeezing pipes all day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. They make, they make a... jerk yeah. off anymore. Exactly. They make a <laughs> living wage at least, right? But the strippers... What gotta shake their fucking ass a night and they mm -hmm. get a Mercedes at the end of the Which, week? Which fine, I'm not the one complaining. They are. They are. So I'm like, good, that's good the for you, ladies. yeah. That's the gap. Yeah. You know what? You know what the gap Gender is gap. when you spread your ass cheeks and you're making a million fucking dollars <laughs> for it. That's the that's the gender, the gender gap. Pay gash. Yeah, the gash. <laughs> That's a, that's the fucking heartache. But yeah, that, that one needs to come up with a better argument, like it Democrats. Get it's the just, fuck out it's of here. It's just over now, man. It's dumb. What else we got? Mm. We're getting close. Should we wrap up soon? I say we wrap up. But unless you want one. Well, what do we have? What other stories do we got possible? I'll tell you what. How about we cover another story? No, no. Let's uh, let's bring back the, the Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. Where you are we going to go? Yes. Let's oh, my kill God. On that. Okay. All right. Now, the run, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. Set, set it up. I'm going to pull up the video. Yeah, because we always want to end on a high note. We, so, we might complain and we might be pissed off. We like to end positive. Exactly. But I can tell you this right now. Every shitty, bad thing going on, no matter how much we bring up Plenty about it. to be it, grateful for. Exactly. And and we always laugh at that stuff in the end. Yeah. I can, it cannot beat us. So... This is something that we love. We will oh, we, what We're is, obsessed yeah. with Silence of the Silence Lambs. Silence of the Lambs. It's the world's greatest movie. It's not movie. a comedy, but there is just gold content. There's Every so many funny fucking way. things in this movie. Every step I, I of the way. I never noticed how many there were until I started talking to you. And you pointed a lot of these out to me. And I'm like, oh, shit. All right, so go ahead. Do the setup. I'm going to pull the video. All right, so here's the setup. Clarice Starling thinks uh, she has the right guy. She gets the man. All right, so we're going to go to the video and just, just pay attention to how he, like, dances around the corner to get away. Yeah. It's fucking hilarious. Cla Clarice comes in. It's all hips, baby. Fucking goes to arrest him. She Something breaks the case up, and she got a smoking gun sitting there. She knows it's him. She draws down on him, and this asshole decides to run like this when she fucking pulls the gun on him. This is the best, dude. Oh, my God, okay, this is the best. Let me get the screen down real quick. Alright, this is, I love this shit. What? Yeah, you can use my phone. Hey, you're about as nice for a She's a great big fat person. Yeah, before here. She's a great big fat person. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, Buffalo Bill cursing around a corner. Yes. <laughs> Ready? Cued. Look at that shirt. Styler, man. He looks like the guy that uh, played the cop kicked in the head. Clarice, <laughs> Jodie Foster in that fucking face. Can you use my phone? Nah, no, you can't. Freeze! Put your hands over your head. Was it Freeze. seven feet away from him? That bullet could fucking blow his heart out of his back. He's a ballerina. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh those hips, dude. Oh, those Christ. fucking hips are great. One man. more time. One more time. One more time. Here we go. Drops it's the off. cards. <sighs> he just hits it. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just. Oh shit. <laughs>
a shitty internet connection. It's a miracle that we're pulling these shows off of what we're working with. Here we go, here we go. Now, oh, well, fuck it. We've seen fuck it once. It. We've seen it once. Yeah, we know what it was like. <laughs> this shit's greatness, though. Did it go black and white? Yeah, well, they do that when, um... Oh, yeah. at least we got his run, though. Yeah, I love that That shit. was kind of cool that they waited for that, you know? All right. Anyways, Buffalo Bill should have chopped that fat cunt right up in a fucking well, huh? You know? I, I think so. Yeah. All right. Well, what do you think? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the... Irish Spaghetti Podcast. We are saying good night, good new year, have a wonderful one. We'll be around punching out as much content as possible. You can see we're getting faster and better at this. Was this a day in between? Yeah. We're doing good. Yeah, so we're putting out more content. And again, just keep bearing with us. Yeah, it's still a little bit rough at times. You can see we're getting smoother. I'm I'm gonna learn some new things to clean up some of the audio too. And eventually we're going to fill out the set and things like this. But thank you for your patience yeah. and thank you for your time. But you hope see, you entertained. they see how good we are. You know that, right? All day, baby. You, they see. They All know. day. We got a show. Can you we the, wanted a show. Can you do the Irish Spaghetti theme song that you created? Everybody get ready. <laughs> get ready. Irish Spaghetti. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Everybody get ready. Don't you feel like Fonzie just kicked the fucking yes. jukebox? Everybody get ready. Get ready. Irish spaghetti. Shoo ba doo doo. Ba ba Punch it out. Irish spaghetti. Oh, I'm sorry. I got real fucking into that. Okay.